This is from Restored Republic via GCR, compiled by Judy Byington. It says, U.S. Inc. bankruptcy was final on Wednesday, June 17th, and according to Fleming's report of late Tuesday evening, June 16th, Tier 4B release would be completed by Thursday, June 18th. Bankers were expecting it overnight Wednesday through Thursday, 17th and 18th of June. Release would include official beginning of Nasera Jacera. Wells Fargo servers would send out 527,000 plus 800 number notifications for Tier 4B. Appointments would begin with funding liquid at 13,810 redemption centers in the U.S. alone, plus others around the globe. Okay, from Fleming's Military Intel Report as of late Tuesday evening, number one, by Thursday, uh, June Trump, uh, uh, June 11th, Trump compiled, I'm sorry, complied with RV release protocols and the release was underway. Number two, the release was considered a done deal last Thursday, June 11th, when Trump and his team presented evidence to the Chinese elders of deep state arrests and made a soft announcement as requested by the Chinese elders. Number three, Trump made a soft announcement at a roundtable discussion in Robert Morris's church, the Gateway Church in Dallas, Texas. Quote, we secured permanent and record-setting funding. We created tens of thousands of jobs with 8,761 8, opportunity zones. We, aggressively, we are aggressively pursuing economic development. We've done that with opportunity zones, but we're going to, above that, increasing increasing access to capital for small business. We're going to get it done. It should have been done a long time ago. Number four, on Thursday night, June 11th, after these announcements were made and the arrest lists were produced to the elders, the release codes were entered to start the final chain of payouts leading to our Tier 4B redemptions this week. Number five, White House source confirmed that on Friday, June 12th, U.S. paymasters were funded. Trump had complied and everything was moving forward. Number six, everything was still moving in preparation for full payout release globally. Number seven, tier 4B release may be at any time within the next 24 to 36 hours uh, by Thursday, June 18th. Number eight, Reno finally got back uh, Tuesday, June 16th and said similar things as did your previous update. They expected to go um, June 16th, Tuesday. Nine, 6.30 Eastern Time, June 16th, Tuesday, orders went out for Reno and other paymasters globally to start preparing for all final payouts and exchanges. They were expecting security codes and final authorization codes to be entered into the system overnight after rates locked in and audits were done. Count holds were then expected to be released. Number 10, Tier 4B notifications would come out anytime Wednesday, June 17th or Thursday, June 18th. Number 11, you were advised to stay ready and practice your project outline presentation for your first and follow-up appointments. Number 12, there was intel misinformation that was released was not for another 10 days or until July 4th. This was just disinfo to throw off deep state. Number 13, the attorney processing gold bonds after this week has nothing to do with the Tier 4B release to start redemption slash exchanges this week. Number 14, it was still on for this week. Watch for Tier 4B email notifications at any time Wednesday through Thursday, 17th and 18th of June. Number 15, on Tuesday, June 16th, Isaac in Zurich was stating fact when he posted, Hello, waiting for some confirmation, but still going forward and very positive. Keep you posted. Keep the faith. It is happening. Number 16, the DDoS distributed denial of service takedown of telecom networks across USA on Monday afternoon, June 15th, was actually the military white hats and NSA taking down all deep state communication to arrest them and so they could not communicate with each other to implement another false flag terror event like COVID-19 restrictions, the riots, Seattle, Chaz, CHOP, insurrection, etc., etc. They have uh, busy imaginations lately to delay the RV release this week when in Tier 4B started exchanges. Number 17, prayers were requested over Trump and RV teams to pull it off, not let any interference stall it this time, and to push it away all the way through to us in Tier 4B this week. And that's all for now. Thanks for tuning in.